聖杯を探索し回収することが私の使命です頑張りましょうマスターこれで倒せ褒美展開しますどうだカルデアス Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. We're still rocking on through with some of them interludes there. Uh, and I double checked with my friends on for two characters if I am possible to use them without worrying about spoilers. Then I can! So we're going to be doing them today. So look at all these interludes and I keep unlocking more. Like I'm literally working on getting as many as I can just to have them. And also, you know, for some servants that I've actually legitimately want to use but today we're doing it with oh let's not use that phrase we are completing the interludes for uh Ilya as well as Chloe or Kuro or Kuroi whatever you prefer that is a lot of uh classes that will die very hardly to alter egos which we do have a lot of so that's good. Um, we, hmm, hmm, what do we want? What do we want? Let's see here. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be using my own seat and I there. See, at this point, I'm starting to get a lot of servants that I'm like, oh, I mean, I have that one. I don't need to use yours. But there's a couple that I don't. No more Fortnite. Um, so let's see here. I don't know, man. I don't know. Sure. And we're going to go to my Just Strong. And let's get our Alter Egos going. So we're going to get you. Uh, we're going to get you. And we're going to get... Do we have a four-star Alter? We do. We have both of you. Let's get you. Um... Actually, thematic. Thematic indeed. So we'll go with this. Even if it's not not the best in terms of, you know, um, you know, gameplay because you're not the strongest. And we'll, we'll do hers later too. Um, I like it because it makes me happy. So we'll do that. A noble Phantasm gained strength and critical strength. It's not bad for you. Sure. I mean, we have to give you a 9 anyways because of the fact that we're almost out of stuff. So, all right. Time for us to go power up Ilya. Or we're just going in with gameplay? Is it going to be gameplay first and then story after? If so, that's all right. That's all good. Hello, game. We load a lot. That looked very strange. Um, okay. Oh, are these all the the magical boys from the event? I think it is. Yeah, fan yeah, the gentleman, the magical gentleman, right. So let's start with some of this. Okay. So let's see, what do we got? He's the only one we really gotta worry about, just in terms of uh, being able to hurt us. Or rather, not take as much damage from us. So let's do some of this to get as much as we can. I like how it's her interlude, but we're absolutely not using her. Probably because there's too many, like, characters that, you know, aren't a good matchup. Okay. I had a dream about caster Gilles de Cray, where he opened up a movie theater 
And I posted this on Twitter and everyone was like, what the hell kind of dreams are you having? And it was, he opened up a movie theater and was really sad because it was going to close down and they wouldn't even get to air the movie because they're running out of money. So I had to run into like the actual theater part and I basically had to scream and be like, everyone has to go and buy popcorn or else they won't even get to show the movie. It's going to run out. Like they're going to run out of money. And like I was screaming and screaming, right? And he was really sad. Like, at, and I was kind of mean to him at first, but then, like, there was, like, true sadness in his eyes, and so I was actually, like, I was like, oh, man, like, I'm really sorry about this, you know, we, we gotta fix this. It was strange. It was a strange dream, I'm gonna be honest. It was absolutely not something normal. <laughs> so, who knows? Um, the, the, the strangest part was definitely the fact that it was one of those incredibly realistic dreams so like i actually at one point i had to comfort g to pray and like i had to I, I like gave him like a you know a, a kind of a hug like just kind of like it's okay dude you'll be fine and i've never been so close to a um someone who kills children before uh so that was a bit strange it was a bit strange for sure i'll definitely say that it was one of the weirder dreams that i've had um and I woke up at like 4 a.m. because I was screaming so much I woke myself up, right? So I was screaming and screaming and screaming and I woke myself up and I immediately tweeted about it. I'm sure if you just go onto my Twitter and type in G de Cre, or just G, um, you'll absolutely see the whole story there and you'll see that I was really distraught over this. Anyways, that was my recent experience with him. Um, that was, it, was, it was, again, very interesting, very unexpected. Okay, so let's... Cool. Forgot that his evade was full. I was thinking of, uh, the other Lancer. And now his doesn't last super long. Okay. Well, let's go... Some of this. It's been a while since I've seen some of these moves, so I am really enjoying the random ascensions, though. Can you stop with that? Just because of the fact that it's like, you really do get to see stuff that you don't see very often, right? You know, you're seeing these moves and stuff that you don't normally do because, or sound clips too, because they're like, we all have our favorite ascensions and we usually try and stick with them. So getting the ability to kind of see them all, I really enjoy it. And it doesn't even... I was worried about it affecting my grinding. Um, can you stop? I was really worried about it affecting my um, grinding there. But it absolutely doesn't because of the fact that... Um, they are all they all pretty much last the same amount of time anyways. So we're all good. Okay, do your thing. Darn it, you went for the one who didn't do it. You were smart, but you, then again, so much HP, it's fine. Okay, we're going to kill you now. We're going to super murder you. Goodbye. Perish. I actually, I've used the final form of Seed Knife so much that now I'm actually kind of like, I think I prefer the original because of how Ilya-ish it is, you know? It makes sense. Who the frick is ringing the doorbell right now? Probably not for me, so I'm not going to deal with it. I should probably go deal with it. I we're good. Okay, so let's uh, take this dude out. It's a good thing that we... Uh, it, the fact that it comes down to Whitebeard in the end is... Big sussy, but that's all right. I'm not going to use that for obvious reasons. Okay, so let's do one, two, three. All right, here we go. Time to destroy him. I still stand by. I'm going to keep saying it till it gets made. We need the bloomers outfit with Jaguar Warrior instead of Shiro. Come on. 
it needs to happen. One of those perfect things. Oh, I discovered something interesting also yesterday. I was just doing some grinding, and I played as um, Saber, Artoria, right? And she now has two different idol stances. One when she's on, like, the skills menu, and one when she's on the attack menu. It was strange, but kind of cool that she has that. I could see more servants having that in the future. She's, like, more battle-ready once we hit attack. Like, that's cool. Here we go. Quintet Ferrer! <laughs> the coalesced gentleman. <sighs> I did it. Annihilation of enemy and nuisance targets confirmed. Good work, Ilya and Senpai. Now we're finally done. Would never have predicted the obsessive thoughts of the magical gentleman whom we thought we defeated, would come back and attack his fused gentlemen. That's terrifying. It was a sad, horrendous battle. That's horrible. Yes, even attempting to talk about it would be a painfully drawn-out conversation, and I don't want to talk about it, so let's forget it. Is something the matter, Ilya? My... My entire body aches! Oh, are you okay? Did you injure yourself in the last battle? Ah, no, do not fret. She did not commit a blunder like getting touched by a gentleman. Good. This is something like recoil from her grand attack. Or rather, a price she has to pay. This happens whenever I use Quintet Fearer. Ruby, is there anything I can do so I don't feel so much pain? That's a tough one. The attack itself is a bit of a cheat, really. Forcing magical energy through bodily systems, it's not really meant to be rooted through in order to gain an instantaneous firepower boost. Can't you just take several Tylenols? <laughs> I mean, it's something for after the fact, but that would work. Normally, the blowback you'd feel from something like that would be even more severe, as you well know. Your body possesses a spirit origin stronger than a physical body. That's why you get off with just a hearty round of griping like an old lady. Yeah, because, you know, she's not really a regular human. See my Let's Watch of Prisma Ilya for more details. Or don't. That's fine, too. Old lady. I never knew it was such a magnificent attack. Mm, but I feel it's gotten weaker compared to when I shot it that time. I know when that is. That time? Uh, well, it's a long story. It was the time when she went up against little Big Gilgamesh's Enema Elish head-on and won. Yeah, it was little Gilgamesh, but he was big. Yeah. It... <laughs> it's from Volume 5 of Prisma Ilya Tuzvai. <laughs> exactly. That, this blatant advertisement is so bold, even Ruby wants to tip her hat to it. That's amazing. I, want, I wonder if the author wrote these. But you know, that was only possible because the other party wasn't going all out. Or rather, he was just toying with us, which was our saving grace. Well, even so, that's truly incredible. I was just so engrossed in the moment. Anyway, I want to get stronger. Ruby, if I'm stronger than my physical body, don't you think I can increase my magical energy output? Ah, girl who pursues pure firepower. Yes. However, to cut to the chase, the problem is actually on your end. Huh? What do you mean? My only job is to maintain the four systems of pseudo-magical circuits. The amount of magical energy that goes through them is actually dependent on Ilya's willpower. Willpower... I think I'm trying my best. Perhaps you're holding yourself back physiologically or psychologically. Ah, way to go, great master. You catch on fast, like you're a seasoned vet of schoolgirls who are innocent and pure of heart. No, stop. Putting it that way makes it sound kind of weird. Now that Miss Ilya is just starting to understand euphemisms, teasing her is really fun. Anyway. <laughs> The physical repercussions she suffers are serious, and I can only imagine how seriously painful they are. Perhaps she has unconsciously held back her output out of fear of the pain she remembers from the past. That... Yeah, that's understandable. You're worried about me. Thanks, big brother Tanner. But even so, I want to get stronger. I completely understand. But you're still in elementary school. 
Important to remember, you freaks. Why are you so eager to get stronger? Because... Because if I don't get stronger... If you don't... People will say I'm weaker than Chloe! Come again? People will say Chloe's a much easier character to use or Chloe's noble phantasm is stronger! I know, I know I'm weak. I don't have that much of magical energy and I'm bad at making snap decisions in battle. But you know what? No matter how underdeveloped I might be, there's one thing I can't let slide. I don't care if other people best me, but as the older sister, I can't let Chloe best me. Um, it's been a while since I heard such a intense pledge like that. It was almost moving. But I don't think you're weaker than Chloe, Ilya. You're five stars. She's literally a welfare. So please calm down. It's true. Ruby told me everyone is saying that. Ruby? <laughs> there she goes. We want to help you, but... Uh... <laughs> I see you're in a bind. Who's this? Uh, who's there? Ha! Huh? It's going to be Chloe, right? Yep. I heard it all. Oh, that dark silhouette. Who exactly are you? Oh, um, you know, to be continued and all that. <laughs> okay, this is, this is, the writing for this is on par with, like, you know, the, the magical girl of Anne words. You could tell they're having a fun time with it. Uh, so, we're definitely going to want Lancers. And hey, look at this. The Karna that probably would normally be- Oh, I was going to say, I wonder if this costume is locked because of the spoiler lock, but nope. But that's fine. We'll get you because then you're not in your, uh, your spoiler costume. So let's go with my Kill Archer team. And let's replace you with one of our Alter Egos to get the first group. We'll get you because you're great. We also want to switch you out for the people that were trying to get your meters up. So we'll do that. Uh, which will also be, uh, you. Now we, now we're, we're too, too much now. But that's okay, because we'll just take this and replace it with a nine. So let's go just, I don't know, just, sure, good enough. Um, we got that, sure, sure, that's fun. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Here. No, she's actually Bible. Here we go, let's go. All right. Yeah, because we're going to need to uh, take down Chloe. So that's kind of our main target right here. I'm going to say it again. I heard it all. I love the fact that they're literally making it be, you know, broken up sequentially like a TV show. It's funny. Again, and it's... it's The interludes really go in such different directions where some are just kind of, you know, whatever... Hi, this is me introducing myself. Here's who I am. And then other ones are way more like, oh no, by the way, we're gonna we're gonna have fun with it, right? You're repeating yourself that it's because there'd be a break in the episodes normally. It makes sense. <laughs> that voice, that succubus-like aura. Bingo, I'm the big sister who's better than Ilya in every way, the one and only Chloe von Einsburn. Chloe. How long have you been listening? I, she just kind of hangs out in high places. She likes to pretend to be tall, you know? So she was, uh... I like to imagine she's just always kind of on the roof of Caldia. It just makes sense. Since someone said congratulations, she's a healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, dang. Oh, nice. <laughs> Since the moment I was born, that's such a big sister thing to say. Why, you... The who's the older sister battle? I still don't understand the rules. There are no rules, and nobody wins. I'm sorry to interrupt your sisterly banter, but didn't you show up because you had business with us, Chloe? Oh, right. It's about Ilya. She's been mumbling more firepower, more firepower to herself every day, so I was worried about her. Why was I muttering borderline scary stuff to myself? Yeah, I seriously considered calling the cops. <laughs> well, she got the night. No matter the era, the weak always struggle to gain more power. To support her fervent but futile efforts, we all showed up. That's all. Oh, that's just infuriating. Huh? We? <laughs> Indeed. Be grateful, Ilya. I went all over to gather everyone here together in one place. Now, come on out. 
Ilya's Magnificent Strengtheners. You talk too much, Chloe. Just how long were you going to keep us in the green room? Well, the only thing to do about this is to slap my dummy younger sister Medusa's butt once for every second you kept us waiting. Slap. Oh, I'm sorry to trouble you. Sorry, but please speed things up. The three Gorgon sisters are here. What is going on? <laughs> What's this Ilya's Magnificent Strengtheners about? Oh, hi, Ishtar. I usually don't work for free. If you can't pay my price, I'll have to seize some of Kaldia's assets. Nonsense! A lucha match is its own reward. More valuable than jewelry. I'm gonna jump even higher than usual, yes? yo -ho. I'm here to beat the pulp out of someone. Again, what the heck? Look at all these goddesses! These are the seven great goddesses who have answered my call. Together, they're called the Bully Ilya Seven. <laughs> it's a different name now! Wait, wait, you can't just collect so many of these unique people all of a sudden. I don't have any idea how to react to all this. Really is really not much for processing complicated things. You want to get stronger, right? As the big sister, I knew. I knew that my younger sister, Ilya, was agonizing over her ho-hum firepower. Again, the joke is like... I think she's the strongest single-target caster, right? My younger sister can't be mulling over things like that alone. You gotta take action, however impossible. Ilya may always get swept away by those around her, but being the big sister that I am, I believe in her. I know my younger sister has a strong will, however underdeveloped she may be. What you're saying sounds kind of good, but I'm also sensing a mocking undertone, and I can't concentrate. You're right, she cannot handle complicated situations. Uh, it's so lovely seeing siblings getting along like this. In consideration of your sisterly love, we shall play along just as once. Slap, slap. So you want us to show that... This is so clearly written by the Prisma Ilya author. Oh my god, so much. So you want us to show that younger sister who's boss with a few love taps, right? I'm a little worried. Do you think I'm fit to play such a role? Slap, slap. Oh, um, my dear older sisters, please refrain from talking while slapping my butt. What a, what a, what a fun sentence to say. I sense an imminent battle, but I haven't agreed to anything yet. I'm not sure why, but when I look at her, I feel both affection and a certain sense of caution. Nice. Pseudo-servant, of course. Perhaps this vessel of mine has some sort of connection to her. Do you think beating her up will help me figure it out? <laughs> of course you will, yes. The clash of bodies is a kind of communication that transcends language barriers. Well, a future cutie has asked us to do this. As a grown bear, we should fulfill our duties. After we beat that girl up, I'll be sure to beat you three times hard, my darling. Oh, what I say? Behold, see how these all goddesses all talk nice and, uh, with uh, such individuality. See how they lack anything resembling solidarity. You know, if I'm honest, I don't really know how I got them here all together. Anyway, this is what Ilya needs. You need to free your heart. Be more open. Buck naked. Let's not do that. Perhaps she's saying Ilya needs to follow the mentality of these goddesses as examples. I think that's asking a lot. Ruby does not approve of Ilya acting like this lot, but will wholeheartedly approve of her being buck naked. Stop! Uh, even so, there's no need to fight, right? That doesn't make much sense, it's right, Ilya? It's a mobile game. Oh, big brother Tanner, help if you don't do something that'll beat me up in the name of some weird version of sisterly love. Good luck. <laughs> big brother Tanner, you traitor! Brace yourself, Ilya. Be grateful I've arranged for you to receive the love of the goddesses. Oh boy, I sure hope they have lowered stuff because this is, uh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. So we'll try here. Let's see. Wow, loading a lot. Okay, that's not too much HP. That's something we can handle for sure. Okay. <laughs> the very big sister, what should be a big sister, younger sister whose butt hurts. All right. Okay. This is this is very silly. This is incredibly silly, and I'm kind of here for it. Right. Fitting, you know, we, we, we use we're doing sisterly love stuff last time and you know, we were using Oh wow, you summon dudes. I've never actually seen you in battle, I don't think. Um 
like I was saying, fitting that we were talking about sisters because we used the three, you know, Sakura Trio sisters there. Can you not? I need that. Yeah, I've never seen her attacking, so this is kind of cool. That's kind of sick. Okay, we need to kill her, though, like, right away. Cool. Um, we have nothing to actually suck her or meet her awake. Oh, does this seal's noble phantasm? Perfect. Good. Um, one, two, three. Okay. This is going to be good. Nice. Didn't even need it, but that's all right. All right, moving on. It's loading a lot of unique servants. Big sister. Big sister goddess. I'm a big sister too, you know. No, I didn't actually know about that last one. Uh, okay, so first off. Wow, you got a lot, huh? In fact, you know what? I'll just do this to start off with. And hit this. And hit this. Okay, and we're gonna go... One, two, three. This'll probably kill the one in the back. And do big damage to the one in the middle. Probably gonna leave the one in the... The, the other one there. Okay. Apparently, I just got a message that my status in Grand Order got censored. All I all I said was waiting for Space Sundere. Is Sundere actually censored? Is it actually? If so, that's hilarious. Huh. I suppose that's it. That was a nice way to kill some time. Oh, come on, our dummy of a sister Medusa can't even be a proper meat shield. What's even the point of you being so gigantic, then? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, this is sad. Um, good luck, Iligasfeel. As a younger sister myself, I'll be rooting for you. Oh. What the heck? She's already strong. But I have to admit, your noble phantasm shined brilliantly. It was like a jewel in the Milky Way. Mm, adios, hermanita. That was a lovely fight. Let's meet in the ring next time. Ah, oh, she beat me up. Console me fervently and lovingly, darling. Yeah, yeah. Later. Uh, sorry about that, Missy. Bothering people is practically an occupation for these goddesses. Uh, forgive them, will you? Well, let me just warn you that you shouldn't get too worked up. Uh, there's only so much a single person can bear, or can bear or do. I thought it was going to be a single person or bear can do, but... We won? I beat both physically and mentally. The only sane advice we got was from that Orion bear, which makes it even sadder. Anyway, I've confirmed that the seven goddesses have retreated. Good work, Ilya. Uh, my entire body still hurts. I want to go home and take a nice bath. Ilya is not one to skimp on self-care. Well, I'm impressed, Ilya. I didn't think you would really beat all seven goddesses. You beat the seven... Uh, seven... There was only six of them. <laughs> Fool me out! <laughs> At the behest of a girl who cares for her younger sister. Yes! This feral heart roars with maternal love. If you ask for the aid of a jaguar, then I shall be happy to lend my paw. The beautiful goddess of love in the rainy season... The time is meow for Jaguar Warrior! Oh, I forgot to ask this one too. Um, I heard there was gonna be a fight and I couldn't resist. <laughs> know that the Seven Goddesses Alliance is no ca- I, I mean, cakewalk. Uh, Jaguar Warrior. <laughs> Good things never wait for you! If there's a deal, pounce on it once it's weak and kill it! That's the law of the jungle! Now come at me, I'm positively pumped! Come on, Ishtarin Cuckoo, let's go all in with our five-star eliminating Delta Nambla attack. Yeah, sorry, it already ended. Huh? Where's the Ishtarin and Cuckoo? And where's the rest of the goddesses? We beat them all. Seriously? Little girl's too strong. 
Well, now it's tiger season. Wait, what was the point of that battle? I'm really confused now. I thought I was getting into a seven-on-one battle, but now it's a five-on-one death match. What's with me up with me being the lone wolf? I'm a feline. But this jaguar will not lose. Just you watch. I'll show you that jaguar's wild nature is gonna save human history. Oh, we gonna do it? We gonna do it now? Oh, I just got turned. My my status got turned into a bunch of asterisks. That's lame. That's super lame. I'll go switch it after. Sorry, why are you an archer? What? What? I thought you. I, I thought you would be a lancer. What? That's confusing. Uh. Hmm. I guess I'll just go with uh. So let's go with the burn hilled. And we'll go with kill archer. We're gonna switch you up then for. Ah, uh, let's see here. You're great. Okay, good enough. All right, let's go. Okay. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I lost to someone who's not even wearing short shorts. Spats? What humiliation? Why, you perish, magical girls. One day I'll be lurking in the darkness and pounce on you to claim my revenge. Brace yourself for catastrophe. Wow, we killed her off screen. When did we get to the jungle? All seven goddesses have been defeated. This time for real. When she fled into the jungle, I thought she was planning to use guerrilla tactics, but instead she just started shouting for us to come at her one by one. Why? Thanks for the clear-cut explanation. Eh, even I don't want to comment on that goddess. Besides, that tiger wasn't even a goddess. I feel like whoever tries to give it to her straight is in for a losing battle. Before she saves mankind, she needs to match the setting a little more. Look who's talking. Anyway, we're back to the field. So, Ilya, what do you think? Did you get stronger? Of course not. I just got really, really, really tired. That's weird. Knowing you, I thought for sure that getting cornered would give you a power-up. Quit playing games with my heart. That's enough. Ilya, you fought so hard and you're already strong. Thank you, Mash. Um, but... But... See? Look how doubtful you are. It's no wonder you can't get strong. Come on, stand up straight. If you put your mind to it, you're the type who could win against that enema, Elish. That's right. Beat the crap out of that enema, Elish. Um, perhaps you should tone it down. If he ends up hearing you... You mean that shiny gold guy? What are you afraid of? We're fine, we're fine. After all, Ilya beat him once. To hell with that king of heroes. Come at us. Stop, you're going overboard. What about Enema Elish? Our Ilya would totally kick its butt. Oh, well this sure is interesting. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> yeah, he's here. <laughs> Chloe, you've done it now. I didn't think he would actually show up. Besides, Ruby was egging me on. System error. Language function is shutting down. Don't you dare act like a machine to get out of this. <laughs> oh, please. I don't understand why everyone's so scared. I wouldn't get mad over a little joke like that. I'm not the big me, after all. That's right. Everyone's being rude. Kid Gil is rational, and he listens. Oh, um, I'm not saying that the big shiny version of you is an irrational tyrant, you see. I <laughs> listen to you, big sister Mash. Don't get me wrong. I'm praising you for both statements. Huh? Some things... There's something different about him. Different from the usual Kid Gil we know. Hello, mere big sisters. This is the first time we've actually spoken to each other. Yep, it appears we're connected in quite the strange twist of fate. You are... Are you the Kid Gil we know? Nope. And I don't know. Oh, the way he gets all profound kind of reminds me of him. There's no hidden meaning behind my words. A bit of small talk is nice. It's fun. Oh, but dear me. Big sisters, you're not my type, so this is no fun. Not one bit. Huh? Yep, let's just all go ahead and battle. Huh? What do you mean, Kid Gil? Why do we need to fight? Huh? Isn't this pretty much where a story about Ilya wanting to get stronger leads? You said if she gave it her all, she could overwhelm even my Aya. I sure would like to see that. Now please, try to blow me away. Uh, if I dare ask, are you mad? I am not mad. Oh, he's definitely mad. <laughs> oh, please don't flee. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh crap, chains? Chloe? Hey, I mean, go bound in chains is not a good look for a kid. Tell that to the author of Prisma Ilia. That sort of thing really isn't my... Never mind. Ilya, battle me. If you flee, I'll kill Chloe. Oh, and if I win, I'll kill Chloe. What? That's nonsense, Kid Gil. You're really slow to make a decision. You've only got one choice. It, uh, uh, chains are tightening. Chloe, are you, are you serious, Kid Gil? I've taken a slight interest in that heart of hers. Since you're a servant, please hang on and survive even if your ribcage gets caved in, Miss Chloe. Uh, you uh, quit joking around. No more stop. Ilya? You really are a different person. Different than that Kid Gil we know. You may mince your words a lot and we still don't know what you're really thinking, but... The Kid Gil we know never did anything cruel. Yeah, she's all powered up. I will never lose to somebody like that. Finally, sheesh, that lady took her sweet time with her costume change. I really don't want to do this, but I guess I can make a bit of a costume change myself. That, that can't be. Honestly, I really hate to do this, to do this, but for a few minutes I'll act immature. Is he going to turn into Gil-Gil? Oh, he did, yeah. Well, because he, he does in, in Hollow Ataraxia, he turns into his older self and gets serious about playing. I'm going to school you on how to properly use your energy and see your life. Yeah. He grew up. Yeah, he does that in um in Hollow Ataraxia. So Take a sip of my morning coffee. Mmm. Ice cold. Gilgamesh. Ooh, he has a lot of HP. I hate this costume so much. Um, let's go. Let's get some stars going here. Okay. Charisma is going to give him attack up. Yeah, we're going to definitely get a lot of meter from his hits because they're all multi hit stuff. Uh, oh man, this ain't the best, honestly. That's fine, we'll go. Do some of this, get some meter then. Okay. Yeah, big meter gain. Yeah, that's what I want there. Ooh, you're hurting. Uh, we can't do a full Elizabeth combo. We can't. How much will this give you? Hopefully enough. So close. Okay. Um, so let's go. Let's see here. Pop that down. Pop this up for a few turns. Uh, no, let's do this. You know what? Let's go. Let's do some of these here. I uh, shouldn't have the Noble Phantasm up, but that's fine. I'm not super worried, honestly. Yeah, that's what I want. So then we can go like one, two, three. Okay. Okay, good, good. Collector EX. Hey, look at those critical misses. You'll love to see it. Okay, pop that. Pop that. And let's go one, two, that hundred's going to be good. Give that a shot. really quiet during that. Like, the quietest I've ever heard a Noble Phantasm. 
Alright, this is gonna hurt. That's fine. He's near dead anyways. Oh, this is probably the last time we're gonna see the original animation. Because they're upgrading it real soon. Did anyone survive? Yeah, they did. Nice. Oh, they all did. Hooray. Good. Well, let's just finish you off. Goodbye. Bump, bump, bump. And there we go. Sayonara, Gil. Ooh, we're getting there. We gotta get you to level 5, so we're gonna be working on that for sure. Ack. Quintet for... They're recreating the circumstance where she used the full power one. It makes sense. Oh. Amazing. What a massive ener magical energy discharge. Huh, her output's still increasing? <laughs> I see, I see. So this is the purpose for which you use your energy in your life. Did he revert to being child? I won. Oh. Ilya. I'm fine. I'm just out of energy. I didn't think we would really beat Gilgamesh. I believed in you, Ilya. <laughs> Thank you, Big Brother Tanner. That was an amazing shot, Ilya. It was every bit as powerful as you could be in your heyday. It surpassed my expectations. Even I was a bit surprised. Yeah, indeed. I suppose a girl's dream can truly take her to the stars. Uh, my apologies, that may have sounded a bit pretentious. Kid Gil? Yeah, I'm Kid Gil. He shrunk! H wh what happened to that shiny gold guy? I'm beat. I shouldn't be tampering with my own spirit origin when I'm not used to it. I'll not pretend to be an adult anymore. I was given the opportunity to manifest in this form after all. You pretended? He totally played us. That kind of intensity can't possibly be argued away. It's just a session to pretend. And he's unscathed. I gave him my own. I didn't even scratch him. Now that you mentioned it, the chain spining me disappeared without me noticing. Uh, I don't believe it. I was played for a fool. Now, now, please give me some credit. See, Ilya got stronger. That, well, you're right. Her output was definitely exponentially higher for her final shot. But why? She did it for Chloe. Uh, for me? Master seems to understand. The reason Ilya's output was so-so was because she never had a real reason to unleash her power. She's not a hero, so she doesn't have a mission, honor, or pride. Without a defined cause, nobody can get stronger. Why does she want to have power? For what purpose does she wield her power? I just pushed her so she could remember with that awful bit of theater. So Ilya wielded her power just now to save Chloe. Now that you mention it, she was strong that one time because she wanted to save the person most dear to her, me, you touched. I get it. I didn't want to be, get stronger. I wanted to be able to protect the people I care about. If protecting someone special is what gives Ilya strength, well, that is a wonderful power. Simply measuring your power against Chloe's doesn't suit you. Your conviction your heart must be pure and sincere. They must be beautiful like a single flower blooming in an empty field. Please never forget that. Yeah, thank you, Kid Gil. You're a different Kid Gil than the one I know, but you're still you. Sweet. Nice. More importantly, power me up, please. Give me strength. Kid Gil ended up stealing the show. But I did a lot for Ilya. Though I did question whether the magnificent strengtheners were really necessary. Though in the end, Ilya's noble phantasm was strengthened, so all's well that ends well. But it still isn't strong enough to beat Aya. I is that really what's important right now? If that was your true power, then way back when I lost to you, I must have really been playing around. Wow, he complimented and dissed me in the same breath. He may be small, but he's still the king of heroes. I guess that difficult personality of his sticks around even after he grows up. Uh, honestly, say what you want. Ilya, are you alright? Every single limb hurts like it's about to fall off, and I'm so tired! Oh, 
I guess that doesn't change, does it? <laughs> Chloe, take me to my room. Oh, she's asleep. And she fell asleep. Honestly, my little sister is such a handful. Eve, hope. Chloe, hmm? I'll protect you always. Yeah, yeah, big sister. Oh, she admitted it in the end. That's adorable. What do we get? Is it just... Oh, you get Noble Phantasm gain and... S wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow, big buff. Big buff for that. Nice. That's really good. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, Chloe's snack. I'm kind of worried about this one. <laughs> Just ever so slightly. Uh, looks like we're going to need to get some Alter Egos again. Well, let's get a Kiara. Why not? Because, A, why not? We don't get to use her too, too often. And let's move you up. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Keep you in the back. Okay, let's go. Let's go help out Chloe. And that's why things have been a little lacking in the kissing department. What did you just say, little succubus? Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not complaining about your technique or anything. But I just want to feel something else, like butterflies in my stomach. Oh, right, because we gotta... Oh, God, I forgot that we have to kiss her every now and then to give her energy. Not, 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 not in front of MASH, please. No, no. Go on. This may be something I need to hear. Please continue, Chloe. Depending on what you have to say, I may have to contact the authorities. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, did I hit a nerve? Normally I keep prodding and hope for some good drama, but since Mash is a good girl, I'll leave it alone. Okay. So you were asking if you could strengthen your power during battle. Right. I came over to see if there's anything we could do to improve the situation. If you can increase the magical energy supplied to me, I've increased my output, which will help everyone. I didn't realize that's what you were talking about. I just thought... You thought... No! Nothing at all! So this is about getting stronger. I believe this is one of the most important topics to discuss here in Caldia. Absolutely, yes! Yep, yep, you really are cute, Mash. I don't know why, but I feel like I was just teased by an older sister or something. And back to the field. I think they're around here somewhere. We tagged along because you asked us to, but why did you take us here? I heard there's a good s there's good snacks around here. I figured I could taste them all at once. I smell something delectable over there. Um, what happened to you getting stronger? There they are over there. Hide so they don't see you. They are. Please don't. Oh, God. Tea time. Tea, tea, tea. Ocha in Japanese. Tea. Cha-cha! <laughs> Are they having a tea party? That's so adorable. No, they seem to be a bit lacking in terms of vocabulary. Hee hee hee. Every single one of them looks to be positively brimming with magical energy. Don't tell me you're going to... Yep. I'm going to start snacking. By sucking their magical energy down to the last drop. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> what? There's a girl that I'm super compatible with. My charge efficiency will go way up. That's why I'm going to sample them one by one. That makes sense on paper, but no! That's not right. In fact, it may be criminal. It's fine, it's fine. I won't do anything that would traumatize them. All I have to do is make sure they don't remember, which means I gotta fight them. Are you literally saying if they're unconscious, it's fine? Oh no! Either way, I don't think they're gonna let me suck them directly, so I'll have to do it after I knock them out. She's thinking like a random serial attacker. I shall call this Operation Serial Kisser. Master? That's good! I'm getting excited now. This is, this is... Oh god. T T T T T T 
Tea, tea, cha, 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 tea. Tea, hee, hee. Cha, cha! We're talking about cha, cha, aren't we? Wah, ha, 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 ha. By the way, why are we all only saying tea and cha? Uh, are we allowed to talk normally? We thought chanting cha, cha was customary in Japanese tea party. A tea ceremony isn't as wacky. A Japanese tea ceremony is a social gathering that mixes etiquette and being fashionable. I feel things went off the rails somewhere when called you randomly when Chacha started randomly shouting Chacha. Chacha! Cha cha cha. Cha, of course, is uh, another term for tea, right? T tea, cha. Probably in the Japanese it was cha cha cha, just cha, because cha is tea, right? Chahan, or whatever. This is so stupid, it's hurting my head. Setting matters of intellect aside, these girls are all pure and innocent. For you to attack them and kiss them, I don't think we can permit such an immoral act. Yeah, let's go! It's time to make some flowers bloom. What the? Chloe! This is... This is... This is a thing. This is a thing. Well, well. Let's uh, take him out and hopefully some moral figure comes in and is like, stop, don't, don't please. Cha-cha, cha-cha-cha, tea, yes. Oh boy. Uh, so, start with the HP. And let's go. Let's get as much as we can here. Okay. Growth up. Grab the words of the divine. That's two, two meters there. Not the worst, not the best. Uh, one, two, three. Let's just do as much as we can here. Wow, that's a lot of defense up. Okay. Murder on a misty night. She gets the evade. Is it one? I've been a check to be sure. It's one turn. Okay. So we'll get rid of you then instead. Do some of this. So close. We'll stop her from healing next, next turn though. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay, here we go. You're done. And so are you. Huzzah. Moving on. Ta-cha! Yeah, that's, that's who it is. No lies here. All right, let's take her out. Oh God, we're gonna unbirth her too. Oh God. Oh God, why? Uh, decrease arts resistance. Don't need to increase the gauge. Decrease charge, remove buffs. Just seeing if there's any that do. Critical strength recovery amount, that's fine. Uh, do we really have to heaven's hole her? I guess we do. I guess we do. Oh boy. Boy, this is a very degenerate part. This is incredibly degenerate. This is all the degenerate fate stuff thrown together, huh? Well, at least we get to finish by squashing. Don't have to leave a bad taste in my mouth. There we go. Now can someone come out and say, Hey, 
don't. It's bad. We'll get we'll get banned off the uh, the the app store. Cha. Cha. I feel like we're being handled. Crudely. Oof. Battle complete. So it's finally happening. We saw nothing. Got it. This is definitely something I won't want to witness. Oh, they fought hard, but they were no match for the Serial Kisser Squad. And now we're a part of this shameful group. Now that they've all passed out, time for a taste. Oh my. Uh, wow, that's, uh, uh, that's too much. Senpai, I don't think this is right. This is so wrong in so many ways. <laughs> it just keeps playing its fine. It's only an exchange of magic energy, it's fine. You really think so? No, you're right. The methodology may be troubling, but it just amounts to a medical procedure. It's just one way to exchange magical energy. Yes, so there is no problem here. No problem. I hope. This is so funny. Mm. Ooh. Wanna try, Mash? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's funny bringing in crossover characters because then you get to see the, the morals of different authors bumping up against each other. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a, uh, a Berserker. Let's go with Kill Berserker. And, uh, let's, one, switch you out, because, again, I need to level up, uh, the boy. But let's instead bring on, because I do want to show it off, let's bring in you and show off your cool, uh, dual animation thing. Because it's, again, like I saw it, and I'm like, yo, what is this? I've never seen this before. Um, and I guess we could, like, wow, I haven't used this team in a long time, huh? Let's get you the blue up. The Mew card. There we go. You got that. And we'll switch you off for... Uh, Bumpy dumpy dum. Oh, it's getting harder because their pictures are always changing. Switch you off for you. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so... Let's go see who's good. I hope it's the... I hope it's Raiko going stop. No. In the end, none of them were compatible. I'm disappointed. I feel sorry for them. I was hoping that Ponytail Witch Medea Lily would be one, but even though she was unconscious, she had really strong magical resistance. She was the hardest to deal with, despite how she looks. She's probably got a lot more going on than meets the eye. Really? Out of those four, I feel she has the most common sense, although uh, that can be its own burden. So, boss, who's your next victim? As much as I respect your adaptability, I don't think it's working in your favor this time, Senpai. Okay, next. I went after kiddos last time, so let's look for a stronger girl this time. Maybe I should find myself a king or- oh, maybe a berserker! I predict a whole different kind of disaster from last time. To be quite clear, disaster beyond reckoning is sure to ensue. Is it girls only? Yeah, when it comes to boys, I wouldn't want them to get serious with me. None of them are my type anyway. Oh, wait, there are maybe one or two good ones with those guys. You know, honestly. I don't know how to respond to that. I can only surmise that you have a very complicated situation here. So there you have it. So let's keep looking for other girls with potential. Girls like the last ones, the sort who aren't challenging or just boring. I want to try to get a stronger girl to submit to me. You are much too gung-ho about these morally questionable endeavors. Is there anyone around, a cute and strong and stimulating girl, and possibly a saber who's compatible with my class? Yoo-hoo! Are there any girl kings swinging their swords around here? After I give her a gentle thrashing, I want to nurse her back to help with the utmost care and tenderness. Where's the patient? <laughs> a a wild-head nurse appears. No, no, she's no good. I was trying to put up a flag to lure someone like Altria or Altera. Artoria or Altera. That last bit might have pushed her over the edge. She's gone berserk herself. Do not fret. Now that I'm here, I will thoroughly expunge this mental anguish troubling you. 
It will not be unnecessarily painful. That is, it will be excruciating, even highly traumatic, but that is only because it is necessary. Sadly, there is no anesthesia to numb the pain of the harder soul. I must ask you grit your teeth and bear it. We can't reason with her figures. What are we going to do about her? There's no way I can handle her. No, no. There is nothing that cannot be handled. Your perspective in this is all wrong. What cannot be dealt with simply must be amputated. All that is necessary to sustain a patient's life is to keep the vital organs intact. To spare only when there's nothing left to amputate. It may sound like we're having a conversation, but you're actually talking to yourself. Ah, it's why Madness Enhancement EX is impossible to deal with. I thought you wanted a strong girl to submit to you. Senpai, don't egg Chloe on. Are you telling me to attack her? Seriously, are you nuts? Break through common sense and morality. <laughs> You're right. What was I thinking being scared of dessert, red women? Is so unlike me. Uh, Chloe, you're kidding, right? You're not really going to... The serial kissers never turn their backs on their prey. As long as there's a girl around, I'll try to jump him from behind. <laughs> Those lips of yours will be mine. Brace yourselves, head nurse, or rather, kill kill nurse? Take my lips? Did you just mean to say you're going to take your lips from me? Manpower, medicine, bandages, bed. All other resources are being taken and running low, and now you're trying to take my lips away too? Oops, I already decided I wouldn't talk to you. Instead of filling your mouth with words, I'm going to fill it with something wor- What the frick? I understand now. You are poison. You are the danger. You are an infection that must be eradicated. Kill, kill germs. I'm sorry. I could not intervene during that intense and bizarre back and forth. But yes, commencing battle. Good luck. <laughs> I love MASH. There's a, there's a, I don't even know how to describe her character because she's intensely serious, but also gets flustered and will just say, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why are we doing this? I love it. Her character is so good. Well, that's a lot of HP, huh? So yeah, look, sword on like on the ground. Now I press it. Now she's combat ready. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's start by getting a ton of stars. A ton of this. Get that. Because then that should mean, yeah, she gets a bunch there. Perfect. Look at this. Look at how powerful we are already. And we can go one, two, three. Do as much as you can. So yeah, apparently I, I was I thought that was like a glitch because of something in the um using the random ascension, but people are saying, no, that was in the Japanese version of the game. It's normal. Um, you know, it's it's it is just the thing that was added to the game that is cool. She gets two sort of, you know, stances, you know, one stance, battle stance. I would really, I think it'd be cool if we could get more of that for other servants in the future, getting them to be, you know, battle ready. We'll see. There's a steel. That's a, such a small heal. Uh, is it this one that gives meter? Or no, it's her evade. Right, let's see here. Good. Get this. Get this. Okay, and let's go one, two, three. All right. This will probably honestly kill her. Let's see. What are we at? Okay. Oh, yeah. God, I love foreigners. That's fun out of context. Okay. Thank you. I really wonder what how we're going to end this all. There she goes. Had this been a manga, that battle would have taken three volumes. I'm not sure what you're saying, but it was truly an epic battle. And I learned from this battle that fighting can be completely empty and futile. 
I have never in all my life felt so sad. I managed to get a strong woman to submit to me, just like I wanted. It's nothing like I expected, though. I'm beat, so I should go home and take a shower. Wait, did you forget your initial plan? If you leave now, what was the point in fighting Nightingale? Oh, I forgot. Right, right. But do I really have to? I'm kind of over it. After all that effort! You need to take responsibility to the very end. Okay, this is such a mood killer, but I guess I have to do it. Then here I go! Oomph! We're watching pretty intently, huh? I'm not looking and I don't want to get involved. Wah! How did it go, Chloe? Well, you know, I kind of expected it, but she tasted like antiseptic. Ah, oh, well, that makes sense, but I really wasn't asking how she tasted. Oh, you mean magical energy? I was so-so, too. I suppose I was wrong to expect more from a berserker in the first place. Wrong. Huh? Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Everything is wrong. I think Gail's awake. No, perhaps she was never unconscious. So what am I wrong about? Everything. Your resuscitation procedure is totally wrong. Huh? Resuscitation? Uh-huh! Oh, Nightingale just reached out and grabbed Chloe's throat. First, find the airway. Tilt the face sideways, and if there's anything inside the mouth, scoop it out with your fingers. Your finger. Lift the chin up, pinch the nose, and blow in with all your might for one second. I don't think you need to breathe with all your might. But most important are chest compressions. Punch the chest 100 times per minute to force the heart to restart. The heart, but it didn't stop. Ow, 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 ow. Multiple hits with no rest between them. You've just witnessed a chief modern medical technique to combat death. It is known as CPR. That isn't right. Uh, I don't know how to react to that. That was a wonderful demonstration. The only thing that was unfortunate was that, rather than being a resuscitation exercise, it is guaranteed to kill the t patient. Mash. Should your respiratory organs shut down, come to me immediately. I will be sure to resuscitate you. No thank you. I'm fine with Kaldia's medical equipment. <laughs> this is so silly. I didn't- I was like, why are we going with Nightingale? What are they gonna do? Oh, okay. Oh, and I wonder who the final opponent is gonna be. I sure wonder. Ah, uh, let's go. Who do we got? Who do we got? Let's see. Ah, let's go with an Iskandar. And we got Kill Caster. None of those are Caster Killers. So let's get more Riders. Let's see here. Where's my Riders? Okay, so we're going to get you. And also, yeah, I, I leveled up um the one... Uh, you quite a bit, so we got you stronger. By the way, her new art is incredible. Oh, I can't switch it. <gasps> I can't switch it because of the thing. But she has her butt, and it's really good. Um, switch you out with... Uh, Where is you at? Where are you? Where are you? Am I blind? Is he on our party? And I'm I am blind. Okay. Um. Okay, then we'll grab another... Uh, Rider, just in case. Um, why not? You're cheap. Uh, okay. Should be good. Let's switch this off. I was leveling this up. Ah, eh, we'll keep it on. We'll keep leveling it up. I thought I was gonna die. Oh, what did I get myself into? Nightingale really was unexpected. By the way, are you familiar with the phrase what goes around comes around? <laughs> nope. Oh, there's a flyer posted in the hallway. Actually, there's a ton out here. Let's see what it says. <laughs> Female servants should stay in their rooms. What the heck is this? Looks like word of Chloe's evil doings have spread. Perhaps now your wicked quests will come to an end. I haven't finished playing around. I mean, I still haven't found someone who's compatible with me. Well, the serial kitchener squad will be dissolved. Indeed, we got dragged into this because of Chloe's insistence, but now that will come to an end. 
We cannot overlook your evil deeds anymore. If you continue to corrupt Caldia's morals, I will stand in your way as Caldia's shield. Mash is betraying me now? Unbelievable. Desertion will not be permitted. Come on, don't be such a square. Just because you wear glasses, you dummy. You mashmallow goody two-shoes. I never once joined your squad, and I am not acting like a square. I Also, I don't understand why you call me Mashmallow. Ah, oh, that shield is so serious. Fine, be that way. I'm glad she listened. But there's one thing I want you to know. It may seem like I was playing around, but I really did want to make myself stronger. I want to get stronger for Tanner. I want to be useful for Big Brother. Chloe, don't worry. I believe you. Sometimes you may go overboard, but I know that you have an inherent kindness within you. As for you getting stronger, let's think about it together. I'm sure I'll find something for you. Thanks, but it's fine. Yeah, but... Is this it? We're coming in. Oh, is... Oh, God, is it gonna be... Oh! Oh, cute! Cute outfit, huh? Chloe, what's going on? We're in Ilya's room? <laughs> Mash and Big Brother Tatter too. What great timing. Someone in red was teaching me how to make sweets. I just... Aww... It was Emya. Oh, just like the small, the small bits of um, like the happy, full, called ya Emily Emya family is just is so good. It's so good. Like I actually cannot wait to get uh, Masamune for that reason. Or is it Muramasa? I always forget Emya servant, anyways. Or Shiro Emya. God, there's too many. I'll brew up some tea, so let's have them together. Oh, what a wonderful kind of invitation. Even though you're so young, you're very domestic, Ilya. What is this feeling? I feel secure as if I'm in my childhood home, and I simultaneously sense a newlywed and old wifey aura from her. Yeah, I knew it all along. In the end, everyone wants to go back to Ilya. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, by the way, Chloe, you should be careful too. I heard that there's some serial attacker looking around in Caldia. There's tons of victims already. Once again, she's not the smartest. Um, huh? That's me. Come again! And now I'm here to make you my last victim. Come again! Uh, the one most compatible to you is Ilya. Wait a minute, um, what you're trying to say is... Yep, the ones I attacked before were just for fun. I always knew the most compatible one with me is Ilya. Oh, you are scum. I was foolish to believe in Chloe, even for a minute. I'm running low on magical energy from that last battle. I'm gonna suck you harder than usual, Ilya. Can you not? Can you not? What? What's going on? Somebody explain. Please run, Ilya. <laughs> Something like this always happens to me. <laughs> Yahoo! It's hunting time! I love... I love the sound of the fast footsteps. It's one of the funniest sound effects in Grand Order here. Whenever you hear the thump, 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 you know some shenanigans are afoot. And that's the only word to describe this is shenanigans. Well. Touching strictly. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at these large lads and Carmilla. I... I'm gonna say it forever, but I really can't stand Iskandar's Japanese voice. He's just so mean. All I, he all I hear is Blackbeard. And that's way too mean for such a nice guy, you know? Jameson Price does him good. Jameson Price has the perfect voice for someone who's gruff, but is actually secretly really, really nice. You know? It's a really, really good voice. The door of morals. Alright. And let's go... Let's do a full combo with this. I love that sparkle. <laughs> I love the car. Just, I mean, I get it. it. It's what makes her a rider, but it's still so funny. Okay, let's do this. 
Get two. Alright. And... Oh, don't call her that! Come on! Come on! Anyways, let's, uh... Let's send the calling card, which is... Uh, decrease your charge after one turn. Increase Noble Phantasm Gauge. Well, I don't need... Oh, I don't need to use the gauge, actually. Um... Do you have one that gives you meter? Increase allies' attack. Increase Noble Phantasm Strength and Critical Strength. Let's pop this for a couple turns, because it lasts for three, so... And let's go one, two, three to get you as much meter as possible. You gonna get it all the way? Yeah, I think he will. Yeah, there we go, good. I don't remember if he has a special, like, do more damage to a certain thing on his. Is it just heavy damage to all and decrease their defense and critical rate? That's it, okay. That's fine. You don't you, you don't need to have crazy gimmicks. Just be strong, and that'll be fine. Heal that up, and uh, skill seal. Sure, get, why not? Okay. Useless. Very cool. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Just, that looks so brutal. Oh man, that looks so brutal. And let's finish this problem. Maybe? We'll see. Ooh, I think that did enough. Yeah, we did. Nice. Look at that. Powerful. One more interlude till we get some more quartz, which I need, because I want the space tsundere, but apparently I can't say that because of the sensor on the status thing. How did we end up chasing her all the way to a forest? Cow yep, delicious. That's the familiar taste I enjoyed in Miyama. Th uh, I think the fact that it's nothing out of the ordinary is proof that I succeeded. Oh, so in the end, I could not even prevent Chloe's barbarism. I failed to defend Caldia's morality. Ilya doesn't count. We're like twins. Just think of it as sisterly bonding. Nope. She's literally twitching on the ground. Maybe it's because we ran her over with a car. And this is the result of that bonding? No, I'm not even going to comment on Chloe's bizarre morality anymore. So you found an efficient source of magical energy. Of course, from now on, if Ilya's by my side, I'll keep... <laughs> Stop! I'm kind of disappointed. I never found another snack other than Ilya, but I'll just keep looking on my own time. And whenever Ilya's not around, I'm counting on you to supply me with magical energy too, okay, master? Leave it to me. I mean through my command seals. May I interject? I just remembered my first question about all this. Do you do it with Senpai normally? You know, with Chloe. <laughs> Doing things such as this? Oh no! Silence! I knew Mash was jealous. Oh my goodness. That's not what this is about. The magical energy necessary for a servant to manifest is supplied by Caldia. That's why there should be no need to siphon extra from servants, let alone from Master. I know, that's why I've been saying snack this whole time. Because snacks aren't necessary. Come again? A healthy lifestyle requires three meals a day, plus delicious snacks in between. Actually, I can live off my snacks, so they really count as my meals. In other words, my meals are snacks. Bam. That doesn't make any sense. It's almost time for supplies to be distributed. I'm going to the command room. 
just runs away. Senpai, why are you making a mad dash out of here without even looking back? Please wait, Senpai, if you're running away, you must be hiding something. Explain yourself. And there they go. Mash is seriously cute. And Master didn't need to fret. I haven't done anything too bad that Mash should be concerned about. I only took a little sample. Good. They put that in there just to be safe. But if Mash does make a move soon... Oh, I forgot. I forgot you were lying there, Ilya. Horrible. You treated me worse than usual. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I admit I went a little overboard this time. Now, come on. Stand up. Let's go home and have some tea. Tea. Oh, right. You made some snacks for us, right? Let's have them together. Together for... For now. That's... That's a strange and ominous thing to say. Huh. Anyways, skill rank up. So now it's B+. Plus. Okay. Increase Ilya buff success rate for all allies. Meaning that... Literally place her with either Ilya or Sitenai. And her buff rate is success... Is, is better. Which is cool. That's a, that's a great mixture of story and gameplay. I really like that. I really like that. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think we'll, we'll probably have time for a few more interludes, I bet, because it's four days left and four days until the uh, Gilfest event starts. And I have been told that the Gilfest does have story this year a bit. So we will definitely be uh, doing that there. So we'll be leveling up a few more servants, doing a few for story, doing a few for fun. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. We'll see you next time for some more Fate Grand Order. Ciao.